I'm Corey from CJ's Classic Truck. Today we're going to be installing door weather strips on a Chevy C10. A lot of the times with these older trucks will end up finding that the weather strip is either dry rotted or damaged or even in some cases maybe it's missing. That can end up causing a lot of leaks into the vehicle or some excess road noise. So what we're going to do today to prevent all of that is installing a brand new door weather strip into the C10. For starters we're going to go ahead and remove this trim panel here. Once you have the bolts removed, then you can set this out of the way. Now that the trim panel is removed, we can go ahead and remove the existing door weather strip. All right, so now that the door weather strip is removed, we're gonna go ahead and actually grab some adhesive remover and start chiseling away at all this old glue because you want a nice clean surface before putting your new weather strip on. Take our adhesive remover and let that soak for a minute and then we'll just start trying to wipe away this old glue here. Now that you've cleaned off the old glue residue like I did myself here, it's time to go ahead and install the new weather strip. But before doing so, what I like to do is just grab some tape, make some strips here because this is going to help hold in the actual weather strip a lot easier. When installing the weather strip, I like to start with the corner first. We'll put the weather strip adhesive in the groove here and then follow the, the seal all the way around. Now when working with this stuff, it can be messy so you might want gloves. And another thing is you got to be pretty fast with this because it does dry quickly. Just want to use <clears throat> enough to where it's not seeping out of the actual strip here. Start with our corner, grab our piece of tape, and then stretch it over so it holds. And just work down the line here. All right, so as you can see, we have the top started here. Now with this adhesive, I like to go in sections because it dries so fast, I don't want to put it all on at once and then start getting it everywhere. Now that the weather strip's all installed, make sure that everything is pulled tight. You don't have any slack in any areas. And at the bottom, you'll have some excess weather strip here. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and just cut accordingly. But like I said, make sure everything's in its correct place so you don't cut any uh, needed bits off. have it. Next thing we'll do after the glue settles is we'll just install the trim piece back here and we'll be all set and ready to do the other side. Now make sure to give yourself a couple hours to be able to do this job. You want to be able to give yourself some time to knock off the old glue but also to let the new glue sit and cure. It's time to drop a gear and disappear but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always check out cjponyparts.com for all your classic truck part needs. Mm -hmm.